Well, I figure it's probably about time. It's probably about time that we go and we deal with the goblins. So the goblin's back, but I've changed my mind. He frowns so hard that you can't even see his eyes. He says, and I don't remember the voice I originally did for the goblin, so bear with me. Um, we're going to go with something along the lines of, um, uh, pfft, I don't know. I have no... What? You forgot stuff you no make. You stain glittering army honor. You're going to die now is what you're going to do. That's probably not the voice I went for originally, but that's fine. That's fine. We're going to go kill some goblins is what we're going to do, including the chieftain who is right there. So if my uh, little hearthlings wouldn't mind just going and focusing on this guy to start with. And then this guy. We're just going to micromanage this fight nice and easy. Let's kill the chieftain. This should be really easy. Yeah, there we go. So he's not even fighting back. And is in fact not dead. We're going to go kill that goblin as well. Obviously want to break down their camp as well. And then deal with the rest of them. Of which there are quite a few of them. In fact, quite a few of them indeed. There's a lot of goblins. There's so many goblins, but we're just not really having any trouble, which is lovely. Let's head over to the camp, though, and let's just deal with the rest of them. Because there are more, you know, there are there are more goblins to be, to be getting rid of. And it seems like it's going to be kind of easy, because they're running away at this point. So really all we're doing is managing to get experience for my soldiers, which is kind of exactly the point and exactly what we need to be doing. So let's go ahead and start breaking some of their huts that they have. We'll just destroy the camp. My soldiers are quite hungry as well, which is unfortunate, but we're just going to have to, um, going to have to have them push through, unfortunately. Hopefully they're not actually starving, which I don't think they are. I don't know what the green effect coming off of them happens to be there, but I'm going to assume they're not starving. I really, really hope they're not starving. Is that breakable? That is breakable. It's just going to take a minute. All right, let's, let's maybe focus on that. Let's focus on this. And then we should be good to go. We are goblin thieves. I don't think we need to worry about them. Uh, the chieftain is defeated. Ow, it hurts. <laughs> Tell my sheep, me loves her always. You no know win. I'll go coming. Soothsayer say, I'll go crush everyone. All right. I don't really um, think that's going to happen, but sure. We should probably get some, uh, we can, we can probably get some, like, padded stuff, right? I don't know. I, I really, simple winter work outfits, all that stuff. I don't, I don't know what we need. I really, I really don't know what we need. I also forgot we have an engineer's wrench. We should probably, should probably put that to some use at some point, but we're not going to worry too much about it. Daily updates here. Food is terrible. That's all right. We'll let, oh, feral bears approach. Interesting. That's, uh, oh. Oh, that might actually be a slight problem there. Um, we might, we might want a little bit of backup down here because my footman is currently fighting two bears. So, yeah, that's not going to go well. Although, it, no, there, there we go. Footman's been injured. Uh, the bears are dead, fortunately. Uh, this guy is going to need, going to, going to need to be dealt with. So if someone wouldn't mind coming over and maybe, maybe doing a little bit of, um, rescuing, that'd be kind of great. Are you the one that's going to, there you go. All right. So he's probably going to be okay. I, I hope, I sincerely hope, but yeah, that, that seemed, uh, like a good fight. You know, we dealt with the goblins. Admittedly, we're going to have to deal with the ogre, I think, or the giant, whatever it is. I know there's 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 a whole nother thing that's coming our way, but I feel pretty confident right now that we're we're kind of gonna be okay. You know, I feel like we did some good. Is is what I feel like we did. So I'm not gonna stress too much. I'm also gonna hope that my archers eventually get better gear. I mean, we could go and look at. Um, so you can't really you don't you don't make anything for my archers. Maybe the carpenter does that. So, not as reliable as a crossbow made with gears, but still strong enough to pierce armor. All right. 
All right, so that's something. Do I have to tell my archers perhaps to use a crossbow? Yeah. So let's have you switch to a crossbow. Because that seems like it would be kind of interesting. And then maybe we'll have one of the other archers switch to a crossbow as well. So you could switch to a crossbow perhaps. And I'm kind of curious to see what that ends up looking like. So you are now equi equipped with a, a crossbow, right? If I'm not mistaken, once you uh, actually get back to work. Because you seem to be a little bit off task right now, I'm not going to lie. Getting a drink, that's, I guess, fair enough. You, you could have went to the well that was right next to you, but sure. Oh, you're getting drunk. Getting that kind of drink, all right. Well, fair enough. That's, that's, that's fair enough, I guess, is, is what that is. A grizzled traveler appears in the horizon. Oh, that township, how are things for you? It's been pretty quiet, but you know, it's a bad sign when the birds stop singing. My guess is wolves. Goblin wolves. Watch your borders. You don't want to fight them after their trainers got them in a lather, you hear? Bunker down if you need to, or run. Running's good. No shame in surviving another day. I'm not running from goblin wolves. Why would I run from goblin wolves? I just got some crossbows. I'm curious about where the goblin wolves might be. Because I have a feeling they're going to end up being on a cliff somewhere, and I'm not actually going to have to worry about them. Uh, there is a crypt out there we could go deal with as well. But looking at it, it kind of looks like the goblin wolves are legitimately probably on a hill somewhere. Although, actually, don't the goblin wolves, like, run through my territory at some point? Is that not a thing? I'm pretty... Oh, hello. There's another crypt there. We can go deal with that at some point. Um, there's a lot of things in these hills we should really be dealing with. Crypts and, and wolves and bears, apparently. Yeah. There's a lot of lot of things we should probably be dealing with, but that's we'll, we'll deal with them in time. I realize I'm still talking like that character that just popped up. Like, I'm talking like a budget Obi-Wan Kenobi is what I'm doing. You know, I'm just waiting for the wolves to come in and just be like, hello there. And it's just, it's all over at that point. Just, I've got no choice but to try and sound like General Grievous and I'm not, I'm not doing it. Million subscribers and we'll, we'll try it. That, that's, there you go. Get this channel to a million subscribers by the end of this video. And I will try to sound like General Grievous. And that's, that's my, uh, <laughs> that's my promise. All right, there you go. I'm glad you've accepted my challenge. Um, I just, I want to double check out here, though, to make sure that the goblin wolves are not a thing. There are goblins there. I could swear they were a thing. Or maybe they don't spawn yet. Maybe that little warning is like the, the precursor to the wolves actually spawning somewhere. And I hope they spawn somewhere we can get to. I really don't want to have to go up the cliff, but, you know, we'll see. Most things at this point do seem to spawn in the cliffs. Still not enough food. I guess that's going to be a recurring thing as we go into autumn and uh, winter as well, is food not quite being where it needs to be. Which is alright, I guess. I mean, I, I get the feeling most of the problem is that we're not storing it, but whatever. Uh, let me see. So you've got a crossbow, you've got a bow, you've got... So two of them have crossbows. Okay. Is my footman still healing? Are you my... No, you're my... You're my... You're not my footman. Where's my footman? Where is... Whatever the name was. Footman, where are you? Let's sort by... Sort by this. You. So you're over here. I'm just blind. Okay. So you currently prefer a sword and shield. Can I get you to prefer, like... Two-handed weapons or, like, dual wielding? Because dual wielding seems kind of neat. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of curious to see what you're going to dual wield as well. Oh, no, you're getting food right now. Okay. Let me say you're going to prefer two-handed weapons. What level footman are you? Level five. Okay, let's make you something nice. Let's make you something real nice. So a level five footman could use a steel northern axe. Sure. Let's do that. Oh, wait. No, we don't have the anvil for it, though. 
And I don't know how to get a hunk of hard coal. I'm assuming we just mine it, but whatever. Um, okay. Well, let's queue that up anyway. Because that seems like it'd be kind of, kind of, kind of badass. What? So that's an iron northern shield. That's a steel northern shield. That's a steel northern helm. That's for a level six footman. Uh, you're not gonna, he's not gonna need that. That's for a level five footman. So let's make that, which also needs the same anvil. And let's queue this up as well. Because this guy's gonna stay as a footman, is my thinking. All right, so we're gonna queue all that stuff up. And I guess we need to get some coal, is what we need to do. So I think what I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a ladder up to a, a vein of coal somewhere. Um, we have one like right here, so I think we're gonna go with this one. So let's go ahead and build a ladder to uh, this spot. And let's go ahead and do something like this, right? So we'll try and mine this out as best we can. We'll bring this all down a little bit. And this way we can sort of, you know, get at least a little bit of coal out of this. Which, you know, seems like it'd be for the best. So we'll just, you know, clear all of that and we'll clear that bit too. All right. So hopefully, so what is this? This is lumps of coal. All right. So that's not what we're looking for. We need like big old chunks of coal which is not what any of this is unless there is oh hunk of hard coal there we go all right all right all right all right so that's good that is actually what we're looking for let's uh go ahead and just say that this can all be sort of mined out as well just try and clear a good bit of that space out so take that take that bit take that bit Let's just see if we can, uh, I mean, it doesn't, I don't know what's necessarily in there, but we can mine that all out as well. That seems fine. You're looking a bit stuck there. Oh, what is this? Little human camp, search out your enemy while they yet sleep. The one who watches you. Oh boy. So my enemy is yet asleep. That's interesting. There they are. Okay. Okay, we can deal with this. Let's go deal with the goblins while they sleep. What are you doing? You're going somewhere. You're delivering something somewhere. Where are the other goblins? There must be two camps. And I'm curious to know where the second one is. So that's getting dealt with. Where are you going? So you're going that way. I need to know where the second goblin camp is. Or maybe that's what you're setting up. That might very well be what this little guy's setting up. Let's go chase him down. Oh, here it is. Okay, let's go deal with this. Let's go deal with this before the goblins actually get a chance to properly attack us. That way we don't actually have to, you know, deal with this. So, stray goblin wolf, it's dealt with. Um, we've got another wolf there. And we've got a little goblin who uh, is unfortunately going to be on the receiving end of a bit of a, yeah, bit of a shake done. All right. So that's been dealt with. Let's go deal with this camp as well. Because I think if we deal with this before the wolves get set loose, we don't actually have to fight the wolves, which is kind of a big deal. So uh, these guys can go and hopefully deal with all of this nice and quickly. So, oh, the wolves have been let loose. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go one wolf at a time. And uh, we'll get them just, you know, we'll, we'll micromanage the fight this way. So the wolves have been dealt with. The camp is pretty much dealt with as well. So, yeah, we're, we're kind of okay. Not bad. Honestly, not bad. We got a steel axe. We got a broken flute, which I'm pretty sure if I fix that, we can counter the giant ogre that's going to come our way at some point. So we're kind of doing okay. Oh, wait, is this finished? This is finished. Okay, let's go in here and say... I don't know what kind of resources to throw in here, to be totally honest. 
I guess we could do some fur pelts. I guess we could do some animal parts. I don't know if animal parts is necessarily right. We'll do like bundles of fiber. And we could do bundles of fiber. Maybe this one should be bundles of fiber as well, rather than animal parts. Let's just do fur pelts on those, actually. So there we go. We've got some storage in there, which seems lovely. And that'll be good for the weaver. All right. Don't mind if I do. Not bad at all. Honestly, not bad at all. I'm quite happy with that. So, that's our enemies sort of dealt with uh, before they really get to be a problem. Uh, this is all very slowly being deleted, so I'm going to let them continue to do that, and then we'll mine out the next level, and eventually we're going to get this big, you know, archway. We're going to detail it eventually. You know, it's not just going to be a big old stone thing. I want to I want to eventually make that look like the gates to Erebor from, uh, from The Hobbit. So, that's going to be kind of cool. Not going to lie. You know, you go through this big old gate. We can put some, like, structures into the cave walls and stuff like that. And then you come through here and it's just like an oasis. Right? It's just, that's, that's the plan. It needs to look like an oasis. It needs to look beautiful in here. And, uh, it will. It absolutely will. At some point. Not really sure how it's going to do that. Because it doesn't, you know, I mean, I mean it's alright right now. I mean, it's, you know, it could look better. It could definitely look better and I'm aware of that. And, you know, we'll work on it. Now, let me see here. What are you doing right now? So you... Oh, I wonder. Have you by chance made this? You have made the enhanced blacksmith anvil. Okie dokie. That is going to go over here. I'm not sure where it's going to go over here, but it's going to go... Oh, right there. Can I... I totally can put it right in there. Okay, we're going to put it there. So the enhanced blacksmith anvil can go right in there. And that's going to mean we can do some good things. Is what that's going to mean. We can start making some real nice stuff for my uh, for my footman. That's kind of exciting. I'm not going to lie. Getting some like steel gear for the footman. That's kind of a big deal. That is um, That is kind of a really big deal. So don't mind if I... Do not mind if I do. Oh, you're real hungry. That footman is not doing well. What is this? Little human cam, search out your enemy while they yet sleep. The one that watches you. Stop watching me, you creep. Where's the, uh, where's the, what do you mean search out my enemy while they yet sleep? Oh, really? More of them? Okay. Um, I mean, we could just remove the ladder and suddenly they're not a problem anymore, but I kind of feel like going and fighting them makes a bit more sense. But my... Soldiers are a little bit injured, so I think what we need to do is we kind of need to start getting our hands on these. We need some small healing tonics. So I'm going to say maintain, uh, I'm going to say five at a time. I think that'll be all right. And at some point we need this. We kind of need a cleric. We're, 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 we're going to need a cleric. So craft up one of those when you get a chance. Uh, enemies. What do you mean enemies? What's going on? So why, oh, oh, you are being chased. Oh, you are way out there. Okay, we're gonna need to go into alert mode because you are not in a good place. I think we're gonna need to send out the soldiers again. So let's go. Let's let's send out red team to hopefully deal with this. I'm gonna have to say like regroup in this area though because one of you is way ahead of the rest. So if you wouldn't mind red team, just. All of you go out there, even though... Oh, there we go. All right, so we can we can turn off alert mode at least. Um, I'm not really sure why red team is so injured right now. And I guess they just haven't had time to heal, which kind of makes sense. We've not actually been healing them. So let's micro this fight a little bit. Let's start with you. Okay, let's start with you. You're actually fighting back. Uh, then we'll go for you. Uh, then we'll go for you, then we'll hit this, then we'll hit you, and then you, and then this, and then the wolves are attacking me. I thought they wouldn't, but okay. Uh, we can deal with the wolves. They're not too big of a deal at all. Uh, I think we got this. There we go. So that's dealt with, and then the camp is gone. 
So my enemy is dead before they actually had a time, you know, a chance to, to really do anything, which is kind of all right. Daily updates here. That's not really a big deal. Uh, I think healing my, my, my people, healing my fighters is kind of a big deal. So hopefully we can do that fairly soon. I imagine my herbalist is doing things. I, I would imagine that my herbalist is in fact doing things. I would certainly hope that my herbalist is doing things. And I'm going to assume that my herbalist is, in fact, doing things. Because if my herbalist isn't, I'm going to be really annoyed. And I don't think my herbalist wants to annoy me, so I... Yep, we're going to uh, going to assume is what we're going to do. But you know what they say about assuming? You know what they say. Also, this hasn't been placed yet, so let's go ahead and cancel it and we'll put it inside. Because I get the feeling it's not going to be as accessible as I want it to be. Uh, so let's have someone go ahead and undeploy that table. And we'll have someone then go in and deploy the anvil. Because that seems like a good thing to do. So someone get in there, pick up the table. I feel like picking up the table is going to take ages. Not going to lie. We'll just throw the anvil there. And then this actually needs to be told to... Uh, what is it? What, what exactly is missing? Like a, a, a specified thing here. It's going to be that shelving, isn't it? So that can have, um, I don't know, ore on it, I guess. Just generic ores and that'll be fine we'll throw those up there uh the anvil is in and it looks amazing as well which i love we're gonna just try and move that to be a little bit more central there on the wall but i think it looks amazing and that should mean that the blacksmith is able to first off make this the enhanced blacksmith furnace and then eventually these right here which I am all sorts of excited about, I'm not gonna lie. I'm really, really keen to see the, uh, to see the steel stuff on the, uh, on the footman, so... This is gonna be good. We've got the herbalist making, uh, healing potions. We've got the blacksmith making better, better gear. We've got crossbows and archers. You're not gonna tell me to search up my enemy. Oh, they're sleeping still. Look, if they, look. I, oh my god, yeah, they're right there. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take away the ladder. Then I don't have to deal with the enemy. There's a lot of stuff out here that we need to go and uh, collect as treasure, but I just don't care. Right now, I just don't care. Let's just have someone go out there, pick up the ladder, and be like, you know what? No. I'm done. I'm done with this fighting. I'm done with this violence. There we go. Who was that? Who's the real hero? Aaron Guthrum. All right, well, there you go. There's a Staros' real hero right there. Aaron Guthrum. And with a name like Guthrum, uh, certainly not gonna be, not gonna be forgettable. Also, all the bunnies are starving and that's really, really sad. I forgot to feed them. I've been forgetting to feed them for a while. They've probably resorted to cannibalism. That's that's probably the reality of this situation. They've the probably resorted to cannibalism. You know, eat the weakest one. Eat the uh, eat the weakest one, like uh, like this one right here. You know, that's that's probably the way of it. It's I mean it's it's the lot. Oh, yep, cannibalism. That's uh, yep makes sense. If you think about it, it just makes sense.